Hey guys, here's a little warm up to get y'all started for coin rollers. I know this is a little scary being our first project. I'll first like to remind you that we actually don't have, you know, weighted projects like we used to. This is just another program. It's the same weight as a test, as a normal assignment for scope grading policy. The only difference between this and my normal assignments is that this one, I'm very specific about where the points are. It's not just the simple 185, 70, 50, zero, okay? So make sure you pay attention to the rubric, make sure you uh, identify all the parts. And this is not meant to be a full answer document. This is must just to get you started, okay? So I wanna be clear on that when we get going. Okay, so here's my directions, okay? Got the whole prompt here. First part of it is stuff specific to this code. Uh, stuff on the bottom, stuff you'll probably see again and again if we do more projects. I don't know how many we'll do this year. Might be a few, might be a lot, but they'll always be allocated where point values are, okay? Down here, as we went over in class, this is a sample run. Pay attention to the language used. Pay attention to what's actually happening. There's gonna be a lot of variables to keep track of, okay? Make sure you name them properly. Okay, so today I'm just gonna get you started with kind of pseudocode, okay? We're gonna block off big areas and then maybe in the future, and then maybe in the future we'll come back and we'll fill in these gaps. So I just wanna make sure you're clear on that. So I just wanna point out that this is not answer document so much this is a getting you started so we're going to look at blocking we're going to identify the big pieces we want we might even put a little bit of hints and notes to ourselves so that we know what's going on okay so we know we got three major parts okay we've got the introduction we've got um look at those in then we've got the coins individual parts and then we've got the totals this is where all the big outputs are at the very end okay so for the introduction okay we can already see right here we have the welcome message and we have the prompts uh, counts per coin okay you can abbreviate, you can do none of this. This is just me organizing my information so I know what I have to come back and write individually. Look at it as a whole. It's not too terrifying, but it does look like a lot of work, okay? So we're okay, we're just breaking things apart. Coins individually, well, we'll just list what we have. We have quarters, then we have dimes, then we have nickels, and then we have pennies, okay? Total, again, we have several of those. Come down here, okay. Total number of coins, total number of rolls, uh, amount rolled, amount loose, uh, okay. Handling fee, and then final total. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, if we want to get even more broke down, each coin is going to have a uh, quantity and cost or value, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's each of those. This is giving us an idea of how many variables we're going to need to keep track of. Um, over here, prompts for coins, uh, again, we can break those apart, dimes, nickels, pennies, okay, that's the, okay. I rarely do this much in a breakdown, but as it's our first one, I'm, I'd rather show you too much and let you pick and choose what you need to do rather than just show you the bare minimum and you not understand well I got all this stuff. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be lazy, I'll be honest. Um, 
So here, I don't know if my font's going to be accepted, but I'm going to keep it. And I'm just going to print it here. Okay. Close parentheses, close quote, close parentheses, semicolon. Grab this. Okay, and then they left the smiley face. Sure, we'll do that in there. And then we'll do a slash in inside here to get that extra inner space right here before we go through that. Okay. All right, so how many quarters do you have today? Okay. Now, this is a, I'm asking for it on the same line, so I need to turn that into a print statement, and then I'll give them some room to answer it. Okay. And that's basically going to work for everything right here. And then I just update my values. Uh, dimes. Okay. Now I still need to make variables, but I'm giving you an idea of how we start. Okay. So that section up there There you go. That section up there, all, that's all the prompts. Now here where you have each of the coins, you're going to need to get a quantity. So that's why we have our scanner. I haven't made any variables. I'm just giving you the breakdown to get started. Pause this as you need to. Zoom in, okay? Try it, okay? Everybody can do the printing. Everybody can do some basic stuff, okay? It's not hurting, okay? If you want to, as you do a part, remove it, okay? So like we've done the intro, we've done the welcome message. There we go. And we can put this back in line where it needs to go. Now, if you want to, if you want to keep those, do it. Okay. Call it whatever you need to, to know what it is. Okay. This is just an example of how to get going. Okay. But as you can see, you'll have a lot of variables. You'll have one of each of the coins. You'll have to split between quantity and loose, everything right there. You will have a lot of variables. It's okay. You do not have to name them all at the top. All right. This should get you started. Good luck.